Today I'm going to show you how I took this and this and even this and incorporated it into my 6 over 6 journaling. Let's get started. Well, we raced through February, and so now it's time for me to do a flip of the month. So when we left off, this was the last thing that we looked at. And the first, the last week, a couple days of February, I guess, in the first week of March is here. And I got some happy mail, a postcard from Shannon, so I tipped that in like that. And I had a, a good friend who passed away. And so I documented a picture of her and I. And so that's what this little corner is here. Uh, this is a napkin that was from the Jane Davenport collection. And I just cut it into the shape of a heart and then glued it down. And I did use just glue on this. And it works great. It still is transparent once you put it down with the glue. And as you guys know, I like to use the Elmer's Super Glue and it's purple and it still worked just fine so it dries and it dries clear uh, let's see just things documenting of the week we had rain and um, so this is a fun one to look at you guys know I've been talking about this for a long time I finally turned in my notice to retire and uh, so that's supposed to occur on May 5th However, there's some new things that have come to light, uh, and so I don't know if I'll actually be retiring May 5th, but my job is going to be changing drastically, um, and I'll be able to get out from under all of the stress. So I'm probably going to shift to part-time work three days a week, and that's going to be wonderful. So it'll give me more time to do videos and uh, lots of other fun stuff. But when I did this week, I did give my notice, I marked down the day that I was leaving, and there you go. So, I'm pretty excited. Here's the funny part. I was so excited about the whole retirement thing that I was documenting Valentine's Day in this week, and it's the wrong week. And so, this is an example of how things can happen in real life, and don't sweat it. Just, okay, it was there, it doesn't really matter. Just move on to your next week. So this is Valentine's week, and so I documented a little bit on this, but definitely not like I would have on the, on I did on the previous page. So just a couple things to show you here. Um, this was a, a free download that came from uh, Tamara Laporte. Uh, she's known as Willowing, and um, she sent that. I really thought that was cute, and I thought it'd be really cute to put on envelopes just because of the message that you matter. Um, and then I just tipped in a picture here. So this is uh, a little card that's for brainstorming. And I'm going to fill that in. But I wanted to just at least get it in, in my journal so that I can go back to it at any time. So that's pretty much it for this page. And then this page is the uh, third week in February. And what I did here, this is from a Diane Reevely coloring book and it, dilutions it looks like this and there's all kinds of coloring sheets in here which is pretty pretty cool and so I colored one of the I got some new fluorescent pens and I was just trying it out and it had been sitting on my desk and she actually I think there's a duplicate in here I'll show you um, when I cut her out yeah she looks like this so I cut her out, you know, just around here. And you'll notice she had a little crown. I took that off, and she has no hair. So how did I get the hair? Well, this is the plant that I showed you in the beginning. And I had two of them, and I just cut them out and stuck them behind her to have, make it kind of look like ponytails flying out from her. And then this was just a little piece that I had on my desk that I kind of crafted into a beanie. Um, this was, last video I showed you some frame ideas, and this is that frame. It was just a circle, and then I just doodled inside the circle, 
and cut it, cut it out in the center and just stuck it over there. And I, I did this because I have things sitting on my desk and I need to use them and put them in something. So that's why I did that and it worked out really good. So this is um, mail art that I got my, from my friend Patty, and I thought that it was so incredible. It's just gorgeous, and she she actually created this um, this bird, and it, of course did the envelope. And I just thought it was so gorgeous. I had to put it in there. So. I stuck that in there and I did actually slit it open on the top here so I can put stuff in there. This was a lot of journaling and this was really about the benefits of journaling. And I've read quite a few books on journaling lately and I just wanted to make notes on those. So that's what this page is about. And then we move on to the uh, last week of February and the first couple days of March. And this was the Oscars, so I just noted because I am forever wondering who won Best Actress last year, and I can never remember, so my journal is, is a good place to mark that, so I did. Um, I have a friend who has a bulldog, and I finally got to meet her. Her name is Rug, and uh, short for Rugula. And I just, I love that picture of her so much, so I stuck that in here. This is a picture that I found... A picture in a magazine of this island and it's a crafting island and I loved it and I wanted to kind of keep it in mind so that if I ever get the opportunity to put various things together it's going to look like that. Again journaling and doodling all around here. Uh, did a lot of writing this week. One last thing I'm going to show you here is this. Now I showed you the flowers in the beginning so I took one of those little flowers I left the stem and I turned it upside down and then put this little graphic on it. This is a Tisha Moore collage sheet and uh, I just stuck that on there. And I love it because it looks like a little skirt on her and it turned out really cute. So that's it for this week. Let's get to the six over six part of our journaling, the art journaling. Let's flip it. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to go through, when I show you the art journaling, I'm not going to go through and point out all the different things I might have added to these pictures as they go. I'll just flip through them. And then when there's things to show you, um, I will. So this was a new page, and kind of similar to the other graphic I showed you about hair, this is another plant that I cut out. And what I did on this is I did not want to have a white background. I wanted it to be translucent. But because I had printed it out on white paper, of course, there was all this white in the background. So what I ended up doing was the uh, tr uh, packing tape transfer method that I've shown you in videos before, where you put packing tape over your image, and then you soak it in water for a few minutes and the paper comes off the back and then you can put it on here. So the tape is on there and again similar I just put another little beanie on her. I could have actually the way this plant turned out it looked fine. I didn't really have to do it but I wanted to have a little bit there. I don't know what I'm going to do with this page yet but this is a Jane Tav Davenport image as you can probably tell from her paper line. And so um, I'll figure out something to do with that. But right now I'm just getting the image down. And I'm finding that's probably what I'm going to do a lot with this art journal is if I find something I like, I'm going to put it down. But I may not do anything with it immediately. So this is another page that I started. You saw this last time. And this was one, it was a jelly print, and it was still too bright. So I put some gesso over it through a stencil and that kind of toned it down a little bit. And then I started putting a border here with just scraps of paper. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, I originally thought, you know, remember last time I showed you how I was going to take, how I took, uh, I threw down some pieces and said, you'll see how I bring these together. Well, this is kind of what it looked like when I finally got it together. And I actually was going to do a thing on hot flashes with this. And I just haven't, 
I haven't figured out what I want to do yet. But this was the woman. Again, here was, and I have this thing with plants on heads now, I can see. Uh, this is some rosemary. I put some glasses on her. This is uh, obviously a perfume bottle. And then some legs that I found. And then these are arms I'm probably going to stick in here. I just slit the bottle right there and just stuck those in there. So I don't know if this is going to make it on this page or some other page. But for now, it's just sitting on my desk till I find the right thing. And this is another one that I just put a piece of paper down. I thought I knew what I was going to do with it, but I didn't. And then this is the one I probably spent the most time on. And I, I like the way it turned out. I haven't done any doodling. But if you look at the background, you'll see the image that I showed you in the beginning, which was sheep. Well, that's what this is. All of these things that look like rocks in the background are actually sheep. Isn't that cool? I just love the way that turned out. And one of the things that I did to knock back, I didn't really want to put color on this. I didn't want to use white and get rid of the sheep. So what I did was sand it uh, very lightly, and it made it scratchy, as you can see right here. And I love the way that turned out. So then I just collaged my pieces on here. And these are just half circles that I cut out. And then I cut out a little smaller circle of different papers right along here. And washi tape here. Um, this is not washi type tape, it's just paper. And on this particular image, I did not put anything on the background. I didn't put another piece of paper. I just glued this right on to the magazine page, just right on to this. So uh, I think it turned out good. I'm happy with it. I need to figure out what I'm going to do next with it. But for now, I just enjoy looking at it. So that's it for the 6 over 6 journaling. Now let's go to tips and tricks. So tips and tricks are going to be a little different this time. I want to show you what I've been reading. And I had mentioned on my journal pages that I'd been reading quite a number of journaling books. And so I just wanted to go through this with you and give you some thoughts and maybe some books that you might like to read. So let me start with the Sark books. Now, I've never, <clears throat> never looked at these before, and there's one more that I want to look at. It's called, um, uh, I don't remember the name of it, something sandwich, I think. Anyway, I <clears throat> got these, and what's fun about these books is they're handwritten, and you can pretty much pick up anywhere and just start reading. And it's... I don't know if I would say it's a journaling book. It is kind of, it does talk about journaling, but it's more of a creativity kind of a book and things to think about, um, especially if you're stuck or your mojo's gone. It's just a fun book to take a look at. So this one's The Creative Companion. I really like this one, and I haven't read too much of this one yet, uh, Daring to Live Your Succul Succulent Wild Life. And once again, it's the same kind of thing. So super fun. If you check, have a library and you can see if they have them, uh, the author's name is Sark. Okay, and then the next one, I know many of you have been reading this. It's called Leaving a Trace. And I, I went into reading this. Um, I'm about three quarters of the way through. It's an okay book. Uh, I wouldn't say it's my favorite but it's a, it's a good book to read on journaling if, if you're interested in journaling and you want to find out more about it. So anyway, there's that book. I really don't have a lot to say on that one. And then, oh, let's see. This one I love. It is so good. Creative Journal Writing by Stephanie Dowick. And... Um, this one has some exercises in each chapter that you could do or not, but it's really just the, the writing in it is beautiful, and I just really found this totally inspirational. So this is another one that I would recommend checking out. And then the last one I've read, this is my third time through, and it's called Big Magic. Many of you may have read this. It's by... It's by Elizabeth Gilbert, who wrote Eat, Pray, Love, but it's nothing like that book. This one is about creativity 
and as she says here, Living Beyond Your Fear. This book has inspired me tremendously. I can't even begin to tell you how wonderful I think it is. Like I said, it's the third time through that I've read it, and I think I should just buy it. I don't know why I haven't yet, because it's one of those things that I keep going back to. So if you get a chance, read this one. It's fantastic. So that's it. I just wanted to go through some of the books that I've been reading, and hopefully you'll find something that appeals to you and will boost your journaling. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.